Welcome to the podcast. Welcome. Welcome. All right, we have a name now for oh, the yeah. podcast. I forgot about the name. This is going to be, what, episode three this of is Planet like, Dumb? No. What are they, episode six? Is it? We lost two episodes. Oh, shit. <laughs> so I think we're on well, three. Welcome episode to Planet three. Dumb. Planet Dumb. What's uh, up? It's Super Bowl Sunday. And this is the planet where... Um, the Predators dance with Danny <laughs> <laughs> on, on That's our It's fantastic. Um, yeah. Danny Glover dancing with the Predators. <laughs> I always, Incredible. Oh, this shit's not even plugged in. I always thought it was a pretty strange that they call them Predators. Because they pre- predate. <laughs> they predate what? They predate. Uh-huh. They predate. They're predatory people. They should get canceled, low key. Because they're predators, I think they should, <laughs> there should be a call out post and they should get kicked out of the scene. <laughs> the scene. <laughs> um, Look how, dude, Danny Glover low key beat the predators with just like regular guns with like a pistol and shit. Did he? Yeah, I think he kills one of them with his own like saw blade. And Does then he really end, be using that musket like that? Nah, he at the end of, <laughs> at the end of the movie. At the end of the movie, he killed they give him they give him a musket like they give him an old ass musket. Uh, th- who does the predators because he kills one of them and then more of them come out and they're like they like respect him because he killed one in hand-to-hand combat that's why they start dancing with yeah. him <laughs> no the, dance, the <laughs> dancing was like some behind like the scenes some behind. <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> that they recorded that i wonder if like there's sh- there must be sh- more shit like that that exists of like Movies and shit, like people with like crazy special effects makeup, like just on doing like yeah, <laughs> fucking around doing like dumbass shit. Like I want to see some shit that's like, like Freddy Krueger. Oh yeah, doing like skateboarding. <laughs> Not doing like uh, what's it called? Um, Fortnite dances. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy Krueger doing Fortnite dances. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen the video of that girl that's like? <laughs> Some guy is like, there's like a kid, she's doing like a live stream and she's doing all the Fortnite dances. And then some kids, like, my grandma died or whatever. And she was all like, I think I talked about it on the podcast before. I don't think so. And she was like, she was like, oh no, do it, do it for grandma. And she's like, doing the fucking dances at the same time. And like, she's like, your grandma's dead. She 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 can't feel any pain anymore. Or something like that. And she was doing Fortnite dances. Yeah, doing the Fortnite the dances. on the forehead. Yeah. <laughs> Is what so is fucking what crazy. is that? What what dance is that? The L one? It just means like you're a loser or some well, shit. <laughs> do they still do the fucking Block Boy JB dance? The fucking um I probably should be eating chips on the fucking podcast. Huh? It's whatever, dude. Fuck it. Sorry guys. We do eating. what we we, we do, do what we want. We're the bad boys of podcasting. The bad boys of podcasting. <laughs> New chips, pizza. I might drink a beer in a second. Oh uh, yeah, we should have got beers. I have beers. You want a beer? Yeah. Hey, hey, Jeff, <laughs> bring a couple <of> beers. <laughs> we forgot. <laughs> this is the most out of control podcast on earth. It's kind of, it's good so far. <laughs> it's good. We're so watching far. the top ten hilarious movie deaths. <laughs> <laughs> what is this Jackie Chan? Yo, Hispanic, yeah. Hispanic people will be like Yaki Chan. <laughs> Yaki. Yaki Chan. Oh, they yeah. say el el Yaki Chan, dude. That was a pretty sick ass. He kind of killed that fool really crazy. He like he just, punched him in the dick. Did you see that? <laughs> he killed him. You want by, a beer? He, yeah, dig in. Jackie Chan fucking killed that fool by punching him in the dick. Is it crazy to drink soda and beer at the same time? I'm about to try that. Are you gonna make some? Take I heard like um here. All right here. Try me. Like Thank you. <laughs> that was cool actually. <laughs> fucking. Wow. I heard that European people drink. They mix soda and beer. What like Coca Cola? <laughs> fuck just happened <laughs> this is like james bond i think yeah um i never heard of people drinking soda with beer are you sure yeah like they pour like a, a coca-cola holy shit that was insane you know what you should try actually is um you should try a chalky beer where you put um the nesquik powder into your beer oh that sounds <laughs> european as fuck too this movie's fire you ever seen big big trouble in little china um you seen that before, huh, Jeff? I don't think so. You've never actually. seen it either, dude. I haven't seen a lot of shit. I realized after we were talking big, about this. Big Trouble in Little China is crazy, and it's before like Mortal Kombat, so like it kind of predates that shit. And it's like this fucking trucker who was Kurt Russell. 
Oh, go ahead. He, he goes to Chinatown and he gets involved in this like. Is this what's happening? Where yeah. the dude explodes? <laughs> yeah, some Holy dude shit. explodes like that. I heard they're making a new Mortal Kombat. Yeah, they are. It's supposed to come out like ASAP. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to come out like right now. Are they? They're dropping like ga a gang of movies all at the same time this month for like Warner Brothers. Yeah, they're also dropping that. Um, <laughs> coming to America <laughs> to part yeah. two. <laughs> it's I coming think it's out. out already. It has. I think our boy Wesley Snipes is in that. Dude. Yeah, he is. <laughs> our boy Wesley Snipes. Blade, Blade. Blade. Big Blade. Big Blade is in that bitch. He's sick, fool. I don't know, but He's I heard. Sick, I heard he he beat up. Fucking. Uh, I don't. I don't even want to spread that rumor actually, because I don't know if it's true. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want to be the podcast that's known for like spreading rumors and <laughs> shit. Lying about. Lying about shit. You feel me? What else is up, man? I fucking last podcast we were talking. I think maybe it was after we were recording, but I was talking about how I hadn't seen any fucking any gangster movies really. Oh Mom, yeah, let's Mom talk about this. Movies. You just watched. I watched episode. Casino. Let's talk about your journey. So you watched Casino. What did you think about Casino? I thought Casino was tight. It was kind of like to me. It was like almost like um, what Quentin Tarantino wishes he was. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah. it kind of had that vibe to it, and I like fucking what's his name, Joe Pesci. Yeah, Joe Pesci he has is a cool fucking voice. amazing. He he's so <laughs> sick, and he like basically plays the same guy in like every movie. Yeah, I like how they had him narrating that shit too. Yeah, his character in Casino is so sick, bro. He's just like just as like, like the fucking enforcer. loose cannon. Yeah, they whacked him at the end. Him yeah, and his bro. brother. They, that shit was brutal, bro. They beat him the, with baseball bats and then buried him. <laughs> that shit was mad. <laughs> <The shark. laughs> that shit was crazy, though. Um, it, what the graphics are so bad. What movie is this? Is this the Megal Is this the James Megalodon? Bond? No, <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> sick. <laughs> the green he just, screen like, was so bad. into his mouth. Um, that shit was at the end of Casino, though. When yeah. they like, it's like. It's like a bunch of old men beating him up with yeah. they're like seventy year yeah. old men beating like him up with baseball lightly. bats. <laughs> like they can't even swing that hard. <laughs> That's the crazy thing about casinos. It starts when they're like young, like in the fucking fifties and shit. Mm -hmm. And that it goes just, like, like a uh, it goes from like the sixties to like the early eighties. I think is yeah, when it ends. and then it ends at the very end is like ninety three or some shit when that guy wrote his book or whatever. But oh it, yeah, facts. You know, it's crazy because like. At the end, when all those fools were getting arrested, they were all like dying and shit. When the feds finally came down on them, like all the bosses were like, "Yeah, they're all fucking like on on air and shit." Yeah, all this shit. And then they decided they all went hide into hiding or whatever. They went to like the back meeting and they were like, "All right, just whack whack wasn't, everybody." Yeah, yeah. They killed everybody. Wasn't man. the Irishman was kind of like that too, right? Yeah, like the Irishman it was, was like, that. like took place over like many years. Yeah, it started in like the fifties or some shit, and then it goes all the way up to like the nineties when that dude's like old and he's about to die and shit yeah that's that movie's hella entertaining actually i like the irishman a lot i like it casino's like an it incredible too. movie did you see uh, it had a lot of swag to it like it i did. like this, this the suits and shit the swagger yeah. <laughs> of, of casino yeah it had a lot of swag we fuck with that yeah they had uh you know like there's some crazy ass parts too when they get the irish dude that shot up their fucking diner and they like put his head in a vice. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They, like, they squeeze his head till his then, eyeball like, pops out. Yeah. Oh, I've seen that movie. So that movie's <laughs> like, that girl is like a robot. And she throws the ball at the lady's head hella hard. And it like blows her head up. They used to show movies like that on TV. Like back in the day, like on yeah. Channel 13. There'd be like a, a fuck, some stupid B movie from the 80s. Where it's like a killer robot that's like a teenager. <laughs> And and just like squeezes some guy's head with his hand and shit. It's like crazy as fuck. <laughs> yeah, why don't they, they don't they don't, they don't make movies like that no more, bro? They oh, don't. Yeah. Well, what other what other gangster movie did you see? Did you see Goodfellas? Nah, I I would guess I wouldn't really consider it a, a gangster movie, really. But we were I was watching Heat. It's kind kind of a gangster it's, movie. It, I just would consider it one just because it has also like a heist movie. It has De Niro and Pacino. Yeah, but yeah, it's more of like an action heist movie, but. And then De Niro's like the cop or whatever, yeah. Yeah. That's a <clears throat> I didn't like it as much as I liked Casino. It's uh it's good, but it's not like an incredible movie. I think it's good because of its action. You feel me? Like people remember the shootout at the end mm -hmm. when they try and rob the Federal Reserve or whatever the fuck it is. It's funny because that's what like Grand Theft Auto Five is based on. 
It's based on like Heat and like Gone in sixty seconds and a bunch of movies. Like really? That. Okay, that yeah. kind of makes sense actually. Yeah, I forgot what else it's based on, but basically every Grand Theft Auto is based on something. Yeah, like, like cause wasn't Vice City was like Scarface. Yeah, Scarface, and then Four was based on these like Russian gangster movies called Brother or something like that. Uh, that sounds fire. Yeah, and then they even they even tried to get like some actual Russian um, actors to be in it. That's four, four is the best one, I think. I feel I like. think story wise, it is yeah, for it's sure. A fucking best, if, best story. I think if five had a better story, it'd be more, it'd gas. Be more gas. It's really short too, bro. Like five, uh-huh. the missions fly by. Like they're not really that cool or memorable. Versus four, they're all like really memorable. You start off just like some petty ass punk, and then you 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 get yeah, a strap. Yeah. You feel me? Like it builds up. It was mm-hmm. so sick. Like well, when you kill that dude Vlad for the first time, I remember I was like, "Oh fuck, this was crazy." Six is coming. Yeah, it has six the is first coming. female female protagonist. Lead. Yeah, you know what I what the rumor is is that it's all right. This this is what I heard. It's gonna have two maps. It's gonna be Vice City and then basically like Narcos, like Colombia, mm-hmm. essentially. I think yeah, I think that's what I yeah. heard too. And then they're gonna and then you're gonna be able to like fly between each map and then time passes and as time passes your shit either appreciates or depreciates so you could get like an old car and if you keep it for hella long it's worth like way more money and shit yeah and then you could only carry like up to two guns on your person the rest of your guns have to be like in the trunk of your car and shit it's gonna be like a lot more realistic so it's gonna be like kind of like red dead or something yeah like, yeah exactly bit. Where exactly. It's like, well, did you see that shit? Like, they found they found R- G- like R- more RPG kind of. They found way. GTA Six files in Red Dead Redemption Two. Really? Yeah, they I found seen like some shit where they found a bunch of weird shit in Red Dead that like didn't actually end up in the game. Like there was supposed to be like a Loch Ness monster type. Oh yeah. Thing in there. Yeah. And they found like the sound files for it, <laughs> and, and it was like named some like random shit. Yeah, they found, I guess they found like the files for like, it's not actually in there, but there's like files for like a AK-47 and shit. Oh, what? Yeah. And That'd be so, funny if you could like. Get an AK back in yeah, the day. Get a- <laughs> yeah. Well, if it's on PC, I'm sure there's people that are like modding the fuck out of it right now. That's true. Because that's what they do with every GTA. They mod- I had a I had gotten like a mod for GTA 4 where you could turn, um, it's like 1980s New York. What? So it changes all the billboards and shit, and like the cops look different, and then it has like even the map and everything. Too. The map, the map still looks the same, but the like the billboards and the advertisements are and like buildings will have like it'll be like or oh, like a nineteen eighties Coca Cola ad or some shit. Uh, and then you 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 drive like old cars, like they have a Mustang five point and shit like that. That's what's up. Yeah. So what's <laughs> up, man? We got one month without Trump, bro. This is crazy. Yeah, man, fucking. Uh, kind of missed the guy. <laughs> He's uh, a yeah. little. <laughs> you know what I mean, though. Like, yeah. what the fuck is going on? Biden's though? like just as entertaining, though. I would yeah. say, in a way, he hasn't said anything funny. They're like locking him away. Yeah, I was trying. I was waiting for the entertainment value to kick in, and it never did, man. It's more like cringe. Victory. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what was that? Oh, what was that shit? <laughs> Did you see that dude, uh, Schumer or whatever? He was like Schumer. He was like something about erections. Uh, no. Like, hey, wait, who's Schumer? <laughs> Chuck Schumer or whatever. He was sending erection photos. Nah, he was. He was like. In, he was <laughs> like in the Congress shit, and he He's, said, "Hold on, I'm." He was I'm talking about erections, erections in yeah, Congress. Yeah, he said something about erections. Erection rights. Erection. I think it was some <laughs> shit like that. Actually, what do you mean? <laughs> It was something like that. It's about he rights. says he, he said incited the erection. He said uh, he said Chuck Schumer he, slips was up. Was he supposed says, to say insurrection yeah. instead of erection? <laughs> this is he triggered thing. the erection. He Oops, said, I mean insurrection. Chuck, Chuck Schumer <laughs> slips up. Says Trump incited the erection. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's pretty funny. He said Trump gets me hard. <laughs> yeah, Trump, <laughs> Trump, <laughs> Trump, got, Trump gave me a boner, bro. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Yeah. That's then, a pretty yeah. sick ass slip up, dude. Yeah. It's so funny because like <laughs> politics are just as shitty still, and then like there's no entertainment value now. That's pretty entertaining. I like that. That was semi entertaining. Yeah, said but Trump I mean, triggered his erection. I posted about this movie <laughs> Mutiny on the Bounty. This old fucking like 
naval movie with fucking yeah. the Godfather. And I always forget this fool's name, bro. This is gonna uh, the fucking. I'm gonna bring him up, name Marlon again? Brando. Marlon Brando, yeah. I'm Isn't gonna bring it? him up every time on the podcast, and then I'm gonna forget his name. Marlon bro. Brando also was like a '50s actor, right? He was. He was in. He was. Was he the desire. dude that was in that Wild One movie? Yeah, he was in Wild. I ones. just watched that the other day, actually. Is it good? <laughs> Uh, it was I'm, okay. I haven't seen his 50s movies. I've seen A Streetcar Named Desire, like a little bit of it, but not all the way through. It was okay. Uh, Wild One, the reason I watched it is because I'm reading the um, Hunter S. Thompson Hell's Angels book oh, right yeah. now, which is sick as fuck. Like, I, I read like three chapters yesterday, and there it was basically him just talking about like the bikes, like the technical, <laughs> like fucking, <laughs> like the parts and shit yeah. and all that. But, um, fucking. They, I don't know. I guess Wild One, is it Wild Ones or Wild One? I can't remember. Let me look it up. It's one or the other. But I guess like it was inspired by like back in the day, the fucking Hell's Angels would like pull up to little mountain towns and just fucking terrorize the whole <laughs> for like a while. Yeah, they would just fuck everything up and like fuck up the local bar and just harass all the fucking women <laughs> in the town and then just like fuck everything up and then that's fucking and then it would crazy be like little ass. It'd be like little ass towns with like. You know, like two sheriffs or some shit, yeah. or two and police like deputies fucking, or whatever. Like Thirty fucking there's like hell's a hundred, angels. There's like hundreds guns. of them and shit. <laughs> shit, dude. That's crazy. That's like kind of what the Wild One movies was. Like, I don't know if it was based on that or like vice versa. Motorcycle shit is so sick because their whole shit is based on the fact that they're like rebels or outlaws and shit. They're one percenters, man. Yeah. One percent cool. of the people that ride are, are motorcycles are, they are make, outlaws. Yeah, they, no, they were like it was some shit where like they were that. like one percent are like the bad apples or like the fuck the fuck up. So then they were <laughs> like, like, oh, like, we're the one percent. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that's cool. And they said that because there was like a riot or some shit at like some bike riding event. So uh, it would be like motorcycle shit would be sick if if they weren't all racist. <laughs> or, or like fucking on man. I don't think they shit. all are though. A lot of them are. There's some cool. There's Isn't some like clubs. the Mongols is like a more. Yeah, the Mongols are a little bit more. I think racially mixed. And then you got like <laughs> Chosen Few is the legendary one because that one's like pre- predominantly black, but it's also like racially mixed. So it'd be like a crew of like white guys, black dudes, and like Mexicans and shit. I like hard. I like the black clubs, bro, because they just chill. We should pull up to fucking Black Biker Week. We, bro, we should. <laughs> should I, I would love to go to Black Biker Week, bro. That's in North Carolina, right? Yeah. Dude, because they just party. There's like, oh, no, yeah. it's like not really like some fighter, fighting shit or like crazy shit. It's like. It, it looks kind of. Yeah. The and biker like, meetups look crazy lit, dude. Yeah. I mean, one time I went to. Like a, that, you could see like Smash Mouth perform. This fool, this fool, the homie Andy <laughs> in the was middle like, of a pandemic. <laughs> the homie Andy was like, hey, man, like the. This my bro, his his uncle's a fucking uh, East Bay Dragon, and he was like, "Oh man, yeah, come by, come to the club, bro." It was like to the all, like, clubhouse, yeah, to the clubhouse, and he was like, "Dude, like all they do is just fucking kick it, and, like barbecue and drink and shit." Like, <laughs> it's not compared to you know compare that to like being a Hell's Angel or like a Mongol, or, like, and you got to like of anarchy. <laughs> all right, you got to go take this knife to to, <laughs> to yeah. this dude over yeah. here <laughs> like, st- stab that guy <laughs> yeah take- and, and we might consider you for getting a vest you feel me mm-hmm. versus like uh black bikers just kind of like bro i'm gonna fucking trick my bike out and i'm gonna do wheelies and shit <laughs> and i'm gonna pick bitches up like have wheelies do old wheelies ladies, with a girl on a fucking the old lady on the back the craziest shit i seen when i was in oakland was seeing dudes doing wheelies with harleys you remember that shit yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, at the yeah, park yeah, and dudes, yeah. dude, how the fuck do you do a wheelie with a, with a fucking Harley Davidson? I would be scared as fuck. You gotta know how home. to handle your hog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll handle your hog, bro. Okay, okay. Yeah, we should become bikers. <laughs> well, I was thinking about, we remember we yeah, was talking yeah, about talking getting about bikes. Bikers. <laughs> we should, but I want to join. We should we start should, our own club. Before. We should, because I'm just trying to kick it. I don't want to fight anybody. What would we call it? <laughs> sick ass fools MC S-A-F-M-C. S-A-F-M-C. sick ass sick ass dude yeah there you go <laughs> sad <laughs> little little dudes MC <laughs> little dudes MC <laughs> <laughs> little dudes MC <laughs> that would be sick actually that would be cool to be a biker you think we get pressed probably as long as we don't put a fucking apparently as long as you don't put like a town or anything cause you're supposed to like say where you're from and shit I'm a nomad baby yeah, like <laughs> you seen like that's how the uh, Mongols and Hell's Angels shit started because the Mongols started putting California. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, I, shit. They've talked about it in yeah. the book a little bit too. That's funny. It's like, bro, you can't be, you both can't be from California. What's the deal? <laughs> no, it's cool. like fucking weird gangbanging shit. Pamela Anderson's on Baywatch. No. Oh, did you? Did we finally get to the <laughs> season? I was. <laughs> you I got my, when JP was crashing here that week. He yeah. fucking. I got him all into this, and he was like, "I went to bed early one night," and he like. We work from. He far. kept watching it, and he's like. I like woke up the next morning. He's like, Pamela Anderson's finally on <laughs> season three. <laughs> oh, yeah. Season three, Baywatch. What's going on in this episode? They're just like training. I don't know. I haven't really been paying that much attention because I've it's been like a enjoying montage. your uh, conversation. So it's much. like a montage of hot guys. <laughs> yeah. This this episode, dude, that was like so long. Let it's still it be going. known that you like to watch hot guys and speedos. Oh, check it out. Look, they're doing rope work. They're like in the water, just climbing out of the water. Rope work. Yeah. <laughs> What's that, dude? They're just roping. Pole I don't know. Work. They're doing, doing pole, pole work. Pole work. I got, yeah. a pole. I, got, I got a pole where you can work. Oh, that's kind of crazy. You think they really make them do that? They climb from a rope in the water onto the pier. Yeah, this is how you become. This is how you become a fucking uh, lifeguard. lifeguard. Yeah. Dude, it's imagine very, the fucking rope it's burn. It's very strenuous stuff because, um, you know. <laughs> you're, you're gonna have jumping. to be dealing with hostage situations and <laughs> disarming terrorists and all this is what well, this is of, uh, fucking whack, county bro. so you're telling me <laughs> the lifeguard. fucking lifeguards get to jump off the pier but not me <laughs> look at the guy did a flip i mean you could i have you ever seen like when fools <laughs> jump off the pier they get arrested like immediately you can get arrested some fucking bullshit yeah it's fucking bullshit dude. what if you just lie and say you fell off you could but i mean there's <laughs> fools just watching it's bullshit. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit. Oh, honestly. did you see him? He like slipped. Oh, I I would hate to slip off a boardwalk and then just like bang your head and you just fall Aww. in the water and just die. <laughs> it just takes you away. What a way. Oh, she was too scared. What a way to go. I would not walk barefoot on this bridge. Just fucking bird There's shit like all over. Needles, and shit. needles and shit. Like for a bum rusty, piss. Rusty needles and bum piss. Imagine if you walk down that staircase in Echo Park next to. Oh <laughs> my god, barefoot. barefoot. Yeah. You know what the grossest shit that's ever happened to me at a at a LA beach? We went to fucking um, Will Rogers over there by Pacific Palisades. Will and, Rogers, what's that? Yeah, that's a it's beach? a beach. Yeah, and then I fucking stepped in the water and I stepped into tar, bro. Ugh. Dead ass. It like was fucking oil? tar. Like oil, yeah. Like, or like sticky put, ass. Sticky. Like Ugh. I had a, my whole foot was just like, the bottom was just like black tar. Well, was it like a fucking, some kind of pollution or something? Probably, or bro, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the shit, like, the, if you go to the popular beaches, especially like. The, yeah, dude. California beaches are pretty fucking nasty in general. Kind of Generally. Generally, yeah. Like, especially the popular ones like yeah. Huntington and like Newport. Uh, yeah, and, honey, all the nasty ones. Venice. And New, all that Newport's shit. a little clean. Venice is, Newport's I would not, better. I would not swim in Venice, bro. I barely would swim in Santa Monica. And then like Will Rogers is like, okay, it's kind of okay. That's the only time I've ever had like a bad experience. And and I st- and it was pretty bad because I stepped in, in straight up tar. <laughs> but but like if you if you just go up ahead a little a little more, like where like actual Palisades is at and shit. Yeah, it's nicer up there. It's nicer up there. And then like Malibu. What I is mean, tar? It's like fucking crazy <laughs> oil, right? That's what I thought. I yeah, don't it's know. like some crazy oil that's sticky. It's like the tar pits. Yeah, it's like the tar pits. Where they fucking uh, have you ever seen that? Mm-hmm. It's just the crazy. tar pits. That's some shit that that's not a like lot of. A, um, that's like a staple, like elementary school fucking mm-hmm. uh, field right. trip, you know? But right. like most people don't know about it though. No, it's funny. Unless you're like born and raised out here. Most people don't even go. Even people that are born born and raised here. You know, I, I, right I was like in my 20s when I went, bro. I was probably really? like 25, when I, 25 or 26 when I finally went to the La Brea Tar Pits. I went there in elementary school, but I also went, it's right by LACMA, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I like somehow somewhere. stumbled in. Into. To that, like I was at LACMA, <laughs> and then just walk down the street at, you know, a little bit. Priceless art, yeah. <laughs> like I, I do all the time. Yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just walked into that park and I was like stumbled into it, and I was like, "That's not Pamela Anderson, yes, is it?" Is. I guarantee you, it is. Pamela Anderson should be like the ambassador of California. C.J. Parker. Oh, it is, huh? Did you see? Recently? Pamela Anderson should be the. She should be the fucking ambassador she of California. She posted that. I wasn't it Pamela Anderson that posted some shit that was like. I'm like no longer gonna be using social media. Did you see that? She's super woke. Yeah, she's like, I'm just gonna enjoy nature and fucking read books now. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, yeah, she, this would be my last post on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I've never been interested in social media, and now that I'm settled into life, 
into the life I'm genuinely inspired by reading and being in nature. I am free. <laughs> That's so sick. She's like an animal rights activist and shit. Yeah, too. she been on that for a while. That's what I'm saying. She should like, be like she's she should like be a like a PETA representative or something. She, like when they when they need people to represent California, they should just send Pamela Anderson. She should become the governor. She should become the governor. Actually, she would be a <laughs> sick ass governor, bro. Yeah. Fuck Gavin Newsom. This is a fuck Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom podcast. is weak. He's so weak, bro. And uh, and the fucking mayor. Fucking <laughs> Garcetti. Garcetti's a joke. Garcetti's a that fucking shit, joke. Bro. Did I tell you about that shit where he he called? Oh yeah. He compared homeless people to horse shit. Like fucking bullshit. Literally, bro. like. And it was like in some like I guess it was like in like a Zoom let's, meeting let's or make Congress. The, let's make something clear, bro. This fool or right, like Eric Garcetti. That fool sucks. When 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 fucking Vera Gosa left, Skid Row had shrunk by like blocks. Mm-hmm. Right, it, it was like two blocks where there was only still homeless people. Like it was still kind of like like a lot of people, but not that much. When Eric Garcetti came in, bro, within like it's probably weird. four or five years. It, it exp- there's like way more. Well, fucking it should like people. exploded even yeah. beyond Skid Row too. Yeah, it's like almost all of the east part of downtown. And then the thing is that Eric Garcetti is like a bureaucrat that just only cares about making profit. Mm-hmm. He's like a real estate industry patsy, bro. He old. does whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, he's, he doesn't give a fuck about Angelino's dog. Vera Gosa basically handed him like the shit L.A. on like a silver platter. We had we had got like the yeah. gold line and all this other shit. Mm-hmm. They started extending the trains. We got Ciclavia. They were dumping all this money into shit. I don't know what they were doing with like the policing because I know that they say that there was like a lot of fucking fucked up shit even during Virgos's terms, which was uh, I mean fucking he was in I mean, wasn't he I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't he like the mayor when all the rampart fucking scandals and shit nah, happened? That, ramp, was, uh, that was like the rampart shit happened in the late nineties. Uh he came in like early to mid 2000s, I want to say. Oh, okay. For some reason, yeah. I thought the. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. The Rampart shit was like late 90s, yeah. early 2000s. Yeah, that was Maybe. like the last major Isn't that 90s what, scandal. Um, Training Day was based on yeah. somewhat. <laughs> That's so fucking gnarly. That's crazy. Dude. Yeah. That movie fucking rules, dude. If you ever look into the fucking Rampart shit, it's the craziest I, I, scandal. I was on reading Earth, some though. shit about it, dude. That, that shit is some crazy fucking shit. There was like 108 people that had their sentences commuted or were like immediately released from jail because fucking- all that shit all came the, out. About yeah, all the shit they were framing people. Yeah, like, dude, and like putting, like planting drugs and like evidence on people. And one bullshit. of the major ones was the shit where um, they claimed that this fucking dude shot some cop and then they like shot him and paralyzed them and then put him in jail for oh, life. Oh, I remember that shit yeah. too. And he got out and he like sued and everything. And it's like, bro, we have to pay for that shit. Like- it doesn't come out of the fucking the the police pension. It comes out of like taxpayers. That's that's, that's why the they just crazy do whatever. Shit, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's like the fuck, and they have such a fucking huge budget for the police that it's like yeah. it's almost like they, you know, it seems like they're like cushioning that budget just so they can fuck. Yeah, fuck, fuck people. people over, dude. Yeah, dude, <laughs> it's it's nuts. When they were like, "Yo, the the fucking cops get like a billion dollars," I was like. Honestly, that makes sense because they get sued all the fucking yeah, time. Yeah, that's what I was thinking because they're getting fucking sued. Constantly getting they're sued, They're fucking bro. shit up. Yeah. Fucking destroying shit, probably. Yeah. Fucking up their cars and like yeah. gun- losing guns and all sorts <laughs> oh of crazy God, shit. Bro. Getting their guns stolen. <laughs> getting their guns stolen. Who knows, bro? They're fucking, they're dumb. <laughs> that's like some shit though, isn't it? Yeah. Like, isn't there like an uh, IQ, like... There's like an IQ that's too high to be a police officer or something like that. There's like a cutoff. Have you heard that? Oh, that's funny though. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking crazy. There's like, yeah, like your IQ is too high to be a police officer. Fuck, dude. No wonder they got like the dumbest motherfuckers on earth as cops. I think that's true, but I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Let me know in the I've comments. I've met a lot of Yeah, let us know in the comments. We're dumb. This is <laughs> dumb. Planet Dumb. This is Planet Dumb. This is where dumb people congregate and they talk about <laughs> things that are also where dumb. We, may, we, uh, <laughs> we make, uh, we, made a we just assume statistics and yeah and i do i do this i do that joe rogan <laughs> shit where i just i think something i feel like something sounds right <laughs> it does sound right he, though yo he's always doing that shit where he's just like he's he's like feel, I, he I, just I, feels he's like, i just I go with my heart yeah man. Like, i don't give honestly don't give a fuck yeah. if i'm right or wrong honestly that sounds right because <laughs> cops are dumb yeah they're pretty fucking dumb not gonna lie like i i've, I've never met a cop that solved a crime <laughs> have you? I've never met a cop to solve the crime. I mean, I haven't met that many cops, yeah. but so I'm gonna go with no. Yeah, 
<laughs> they don't, they don't be crime solving, a, bro. I've never, they, never met a cop that solved a crime. Cops, Dude. cops do that shit where they just like fucking profile you and intimidate you into admitting that you committed a crime. They don't even know you committed a crime. They just be like, they just be like, look, there's, there's so there's fucking uh, there's a fucking Mexican guy. Pull him over. That's what they want to like. That's what it always is. Too. Yeah, it's some shit like that. It's like. They just do it over and over again until they fucking catch the guy. Catch a guy, not even the guy, just a guy. Well, it's like, yeah, dude, the only time I've ever been, like, like tried why, to Why get, are you walking so The only suspicious. time I ever tried to get help from the police was, like, because my fucking MacBook got stolen out of my car. Someone busted my window and stole my shit. That's and so I was fun. like, oh, maybe I'll get, like, some paperwork on it in case, like, my MacBook turns up somewhere. With, like, the serial code and all yeah. that shit or what, a serial number or whatever. And these fools are just like, yeah, we can't really do nothing for you. And I was like, I was like, like nothing. Like, <laughs> I mean, the, I don't know what I expected them to do, but I was still at the same time. It's you like, know what they told me, man? God, some, <laughs> some, somebody broke into my car, and I was like, man, I need to fucking get like my insurance. Yeah, on for it. insurance. And it's funny because neither the cops nor my insurance could do anything i wasn't like calling them to be like come arrest these guys i was like yeah, i need, I need like, a report I need, or yeah some that's shit. what i was like i need fucking like this shit on paper so like you know if my fucking shit does turn up in like a fucking pawn shop or like my insurance company to help me pay for this fucking broken window yeah his broken window yeah, it's broken windows <laughs> nah bro bro like straight up they told me like but they wouldn't even do that and no nah, like, they didn't okay. even want to yeah they didn't even want to <laughs> one they didn't want to write a report for me she was like We'll do it, but you know, it might take a little while. And then, yeah, but also, like, she was nah, like, I'll, I was like, Oh, do you want any like details or anything? Like, do you guys need any of that shit? I'm a and Charles she was, Bronson, this shit. And she <laughs> just started you know cleaning up the fucking streets. Hold on, hold on. You know what she said? She was like, Unless we are there and we like catch them yeah, in the act, there's, like, there's nothing, nothing we can do. There's not, she said, There's nothing we can do. This is the cops, bro. And you know what's funny? Those guys went on a, like a fucking robbing spree on our block. This is when I was working at Stamped in like downtown LA. And after they hit my car, they hit my boss's mom's car and then the homie's car. And then we're like, oh, shit. So then we're like, all right, let's just be on. We'll be on watch and we'll try and like chase him down. So they came back and they were trying to break in the homie's car, the other homie. And then me and my coworker chased him down with a baseball bat and we chased him off the block and like threw the bat at their car and shit. So basically, yeah, we had a Charles Bronson. (laughs) We took the lawn to our own own And then right after that happened, a cruiser came by and we flagged them down and we're like, hey, some fools just try to break into the car and shit, and we had to chase them off the block. Yeah, and they're, and they're like, "Gee, you know, we wish, <laughs> Gee, we well, wish, we wish we could help you, but there's just like Gosh. a stabbing around the corner. We got to go uh, to." And I was like, "I, I kind of understand that one, <laughs> dude." The craziest part in Death Wish uh, is when he's—it's <laughs> not that crazy actually, but the part where he's in it, he goes to like the bank or whatever, and he's like, "Can I get twenty dollars and quarters?" And then he goes into his office and he puts the quarters in a sock and he's all swinging it <laughs> and he like hits himself in the hand and he's like, oh shit. And then his boss walks in or some shit. And he, he hides the the, quarter, the quarters of the sock like in his pocket. <laughs> that shit was sick. incredible. That shit was sick. Point, moral of the story is that cops are worthless. Charles, you have to take the law into your Charles, own hands. <laughs> Charles Bronson for fucking police chief. Well, Honestly, man, I've always known people to take law into their own hands because my parents come from like a, a rural, poor part of Mexico. And like I grew up in like this part of South Central is very lawless and kind of crazy. And and honestly, I feel like sometimes it works better. I'm not advocating for mob rule. <laughs> I'm not advocating for I mean, murder per se. I mean, that's like what, what but if, you know what I mean? That's what the whole defund the police kind of thing is. It's like communities fucking policing themselves. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was, I was just kind of trying to make a joke about fucking <laughs> being, becoming a vigilante. But in but, all seriousness. But in all seriousness, yeah. Defund the fucking police. Oh, police officers need never community helped. based. I don't think I've ever gotten help from a cop. Nope. Like, in all honesty. I don't know anybody that has. You know, I mean, there's like certain instances. You know what they used to do? When I lived on 40th, they used to come and like give all the kids like baseball cards <laughs> That's to kind of try and yeah, try and endear you towards <laughs> yeah, the cops. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to think they were cool, but really they were actually what they were actually doing was coming to harass my cousins and shit. Yeah, because used to gangbang. So I'll they, just finesse them yeah. for the cards. Oh, I still got them, bro. I got a <laughs> I shitload say, of cards. It from, doesn't like, mean the cars. I respect them. Yeah. Damn. I'll bring them over next time. There's like a ton of them. Oh shit! Was she? They were, were they? They were banging. Were they having sex? That's why there was a goddamn bow on the door. (laughs) 
Look at fucking David Hasselhoff. Such a fucking awesome guy. Oh, he was in Battle of Star. Is it, what is this shit called? Fucking Guardians man. of the Galaxy. Is that what he was in? Go back. David Hasselhoff. Go back. Guardians yeah, of the Galaxy. Part two. Two. Have you ever seen those? Guardians of the Galaxy? Uh, is that the one with that dude? Uh, from, from Parks, Parks and, and Rec. Rec. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I've seen him. I don't know. I watch him with like with my mom or some shit. During, like, <laughs> when I would go visit her at Christmas time, we would just watch, watch movie, random yeah. movies. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And since we're in quarantine, like my sister moved back home, and my mom doesn't work as much. So oh, yeah, like, isn't that what you were doing last? Yeah, night? dude. So far, I've seen uh, Master and Commander, and then uh, whoa, what the fuck did I watch? I started watching Sea Biscuit. <laughs> fucking crazy movie. Yeah, see Biscuit tight. <laughs> yeah, I can't make it through that movie without crying. Is it Toby Maguire in that yeah, movie? Yeah, Toby. It's like a it's a story. You know Americans, we love we love the story of the underdog. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like it's like about this dude who's he's racing horses during like the depression. <laughs> I thought you were about to say he's racist. No, <laughs> he's like, racist, <laughs> yeah. It's about a racist horse. <laughs> it's about a racist horse and it's like an endearing story. No, like this dude was like some guy who was abandoned by his family and he's like blind in one eye. And then the horse is like an old horse that's all fucked up and he's too small to really be a racehorse. And then they got like the the dude who trains him was just like some vagabond guy. Mm-hmm. And it's like this ragtag crew of people come together to to like become the best racehorse in America. And he's just winning all these fucking races and shit. <laughs> but it's good though because it's like the way they frame the story, you know, it's just like, bro, this is just like, it makes you tear up, man. Yeah. We all love, love a good fucking. I love those, like Cinderella Man. A good movie cry. Yeah. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I don't even. I have in real life. I have no emotions. Yeah. No. <laughs> like nothing can make me cry. But yeah, if I watch it, like a sad movie, man. Oh, uh, facts. I yeah. fucking start tearing up. Yeah, you get all involved. You get <laughs> involved in the characters. About yeah. I don't give a fuck about anybody. No in facts, real life. fool. <laughs> I'm I'm completely desensitized to life. I'm not gonna lie. I've seen some things. So, like, the, <laughs> the only thing that really can make me cry is the fact that Sea Biscuit was too small of a horse, and he was winning races, and his jockey was blind. And I was like, "Wow, this is like, bro, like they, did, they did that shit just like me." <laughs> yeah, I came up. You feel me? Yeah. I did that just like them, just like Sea Biscuit. I came up. <laughs> I came up in a day. <laughs> you seen Cinderella, man? That's like another one. Which What's one? another movie like that? There's like a lot of movies like that, huh? I'm trying to think. The, I can't even. The Little Giants. Oh yeah, the, the little, little giants. giants. Yeah, like underdog movies. Underdog movies. Yeah. Um, Major League. Have you? <laughs> it's always, it's always like some bas- baseball related shit. Yeah, man. some baseball related shit. Angels in the outfield. There you go. That's a good one. <laughs> that was just like <laughs> the Sandlot. The Sandlot. And that's not an underdog. I'm movie. just naming baseball. Movies. Yeah, baseball <laughs> movies. What's a good? The best ones are Major League because they're about just the cartoon scumbags. underdog. I've never seen it. <laughs> Are you? Did you just Google underdog? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's sick. What's an underdog superhero movie? Death Wish is an underdog movie. Yeah, because you're you're crazy rooting for him to win against crime. The wild shit though is that they're like, uh, he's supposed to be all liberal and shit at the beginning, and they're like <laughs> the fool's hating on him for it, <laughs> and then like. And then yeah, some shit happens. And then he becomes Jeff like, Goldblum comes and yeah, fucking rapes his wife, mm-hmm. kills his daughter. Oh no, wait, his daughter gets killed in the same way. Other way. Oh yeah, he kills his wife, rapes his daughter, and then he goes crazy and he starts killing random, just random people. Yeah, random people <laughs> in the street. That's so that's such a fucked up movie. Honestly, it, it really is. That's such a fucked up premise. Yeah. It's just like you do some crime, so I'm gonna kill you. you. Yeah, so I'm gonna just kill everyone. Well, it's a crazy movie because it's really like a slasher movie, but it's like some yeah. guy who gets like violently corrupted because crime is out of control in his city and his like wife and daughter became victims of it. And honestly, I kind of feel the sentiment because I feel like I would do the same. I just go like on a shooting spree. kind of. <laughs> oh my God. Don't say that. I know. FBI. I'm just kidding. <laughs> FBI. I'm just kidding. This man. I would be pretty pissed though. Come on. That's, that's oh, pretty... yeah, for sure. But I don't well, think you know... I would just go out into the fucking like shitty neighborhoods and just start killing yeah. fools. It's totally that. like a fucking right wing guy's fucking wet dream. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's like the whole thing. That's the whole yeah. point of the movie. Like if yeah. you even like, I think if you read the synopsis, it's like says like, he used to be like a liberal, and now he's like conservative. <laughs> I love all those movies that came on the 70s that were just like, 
advocating for the murder of minorities and like hippies. I'm so fucked up, dude. There's some other one I think it's called like Crazy Joe, where some guy goes like on a killing spree and he's killing all these hippies. Did they also did they remake Eli Roth remade Death Wish with he did. um I never seen it. Bruce Willis. I've never seen it, but I don't want to watch that. I, I feel ass. like the only Death Wish should be Charles Bronson's Death Wish because he 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 is that character. You know what I mean? Apparently, he was like at one point he was the highest paid action star, like action, in whatever. Or, uh, not action Bronson. Uh, <laughs> Charles, Charles Bronson. Bronson yeah. yeah, in like the early seventies. Oh or yeah, whenever bro. Those movies were He's, coming up. He is in one of what a movie. Like he was making a million dollars per movie or some shit at the time. Have you ever seen the movie Once Upon a Time in the West? Mm-mm. Is that he, him as well? Yeah, he's considered like a. He's a fuck. He's been in like masterpieces, bro. Low key, like Charles Bronson. Mm-hmm. He's a. He's a. This was funny is that like people don't talk about him as much because he died way before like the internet really kind of cracked off. But Charles Bronson was like when a sick die? ass fool. I think he died in the early two thousands. Right yeah, now. he did. Like before but social media. Really though. know about him? Yeah. Though, yeah. You know what else is a fucked up movie? Her, um, Dirty Harry. It's just about some fucking cop who, like, he, he's mad because they won't let him do police brutality to people. <laughs> and he, like, quits the force. <laughs> and then what? <laughs> and he just goes and he does crazy shit. He just does he's normal not a cop brutality. Just, <laughs> it's, it's fucking crazy. It's, like, honestly one of the wildest movies I've ever fucking seen, dog. He just, like, has this disdain for, like hippies and like minorities and women and shit it's just like some that's, fucking that's like just pure white just fucking like, anger yeah, just like prejudice <laughs> prejudice <laughs> prejudice with a gun and shit it's so Damn. fucking crazy it, it, should, they, someone should we should make that movie prejudice with the gun prejudice with a gun <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much dirty harry man that's gonna be the name of this episode <laughs> the other ones the other ones aren't as bad but like yeah prejudice with a gun <laughs> we got dirty we dirty got harry it. Dude, those are the kind of movies that used to fly dirty in the harry. 70s though like even taxi driver if you think about it it's just basically like the incel movie what's the fucking movie oh yeah taxi driver yeah, yeah for sure it's just what's dudes, the dudes one? losing it Gran Torino. <laughs> Gran Torino, dude, that <laughs> one's fucking crazy. Why? <laughs> that the level. I of don't like, even really remember what the premise was, but I think it's just like racist old man. Yeah. Essentially, it's just this racist like Korean war vet, and then like some. Like, uh, he learns to love the Korean kid next door or something. No, nah, they're like, like they're Hmong, so they're like, dude, it's like <laughs> they pick they pick like fools as like the most. Asian fools you could find, like some monks. <laughs> so they're like monks. They're like mountain people uh, from okay. like Cambodia, I think. Or but he's Laos. friends with the kid, right? Yeah, and then or, but he says racist shit. Yeah, <laughs> the whole time. well, like the fucking kid is getting beat up by his own cousin, who's like an Asian gang member. Oh yeah, and then uh, he like scares them off, but he's like. At the same time, he's, like, calling the kid, like, a zipper head or some shit like that. But he's, like, be- he befriends him. The amount of, like, racial slurs in that movie is fucking wild, bro. Like, every every he other says sentence, He says them all. Yeah, he says them all. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking insane, dog. Fuck, dude. What's the it's deal? It's crazy. He's Clint Eastwood alive still? He's still alive. You know what's funny? I heard somebody said that he made that movie as a response to people saying that he was racist. <laughs> so he's like, hell yeah. Like, All right, I'll show you racist, bro. <laughs> he, <talking> about racist. <laughs> he wanted to prove it. The, it. I couldn't take it seriously, bro. Like I was sitting there and I was like, well, am I am I supposed to not laugh at this shit? Like, oh man, he's, it, his I acting's couldn't. shitty too, isn't it? It's not bad, but it's just not good. It's like, well, I'm used to watching uh, fucking uh, all those like movies and shit. Like, I was gonna say, though, my like, dad was really into Clint Eastwood, so I grew up watching. Uh, like, okay. So to me, his acting is just regular. But I'm sure. I mean, I, I feel like a lot of great actors aren't necessarily very good. Nah, he plays like, the same character in every same movie. Same with like, I don't. I wouldn't say like Pacino is a fucking great actor. He's in a lot of great things, but yeah. He kind of is not very good. <laughs> he's, he's funny, man. <laughs> like all the the some of the scenes in like fucking what's it called, um, Scarface, or yeah, like they're funny. absolutely he's hilarious, hilarious dog. <laughs> should, I, I could never take his accent seriously either. I want to see Carlito's way. I've never seen that. I haven't seen that. Either. But they got that part where Let's he's watch like, that after he's this. Like, you think you big time? You better get ready to die, big time. There's some shit like that. And I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> That's why I swear to God, like fucking some of those actors just make shit up. Oh, wait, you say Al Pacino or De Niro? Pacino. Oh, yeah. You know who? Nah, De Niro's a good actor. I'd say De Niro's yeah, good. Yeah, De Niro's a fucking Pacino, good actor. Yeah, Pacino. 
He's he's in a lot of great shit and he's a legend, but like I wouldn't say he's I've like, never been it's a It's like the same fan. with Nick Cage, dude. Yeah. I like I love Nick Cage. But like I feel like some of the those actors like oh, well, I'm they go off script and say out of pocket shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, just because they think it's like gonna be funny. Or not funny, but like Well no, let me tell you something about Nick Cage. Nick Cage is interesting because he just he interprets the script however he interprets it. Like he doesn't care. He's like um he's like the bizarro Kind of like the opposite version of uh, what's the guy that pauses in, uh, in between everything? You got fat while I was in jail. What's that guy? Christopher Walken? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Christopher Walken. <laughs> Dime bag sells in the park. I want in. <laughs> he's that king yeah, in New York. Yeah, Christopher Walken. He's crazy. a fucking. He that, that's, how, that's who Nick Cage is like to you me. You know what? Why? Just like a weird fucking guy. Christopher Walken is sick because he was in Joe Dirt. He was in Joe Dirt, yeah. <laughs> home, home is where you make it. Is that, he's the one that tells him that, right? No. Nah. Oh, no, it's some fucking old fucking like hillbilly guy. It's the him. hillbilly guy that's also in uh, Waterboy. Christopher Walken is in the movie, um, what is that shit called? The Deadpool? It's like a like Stephen when he... King movie where he, he, like, he like keeps fucking having a vision that the president's going to get killed and then at the end of the movie it turns out he's the one that's going to assassinate oh, the president wow, and he gets like tight. killed. Yeah, what the fuck is that movie? No, I'll tell you right now. It's it's gnarly. He was also ruled in that Fat Boy Slim video. <laughs> 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 that was good. <laughs> we should have a, a Clint Eastwood movie marathon. Our engineer's laying on the ground in the kitchen like he's like fucking a bum or something. Come over here. He just doesn't want to listen to us fucking talk anymore. Yeah, he's annoyed. <laughs> but yeah, look, check it out. This is this movie, The Dead Zone. He says, a man awakens from a coma to discover he has a psychic ability. <laughs> Movies used to be nuts. They're so fucking like Stephen wack King now. would have also just fucking... On Mad Cook. A maniac. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine, like, all of the shit he wrote now all makes sense. Just constantly being on coke. <laughs> Entering coke psychosis and just, like, writing... I feel like we've talked about this on yeah, the actually, yeah. or like not many, but yeah, on how <laughs> like Coke ideas. Yeah, have we talked we have about a corner, <laughs> the Coke idea corner, the Coke idea corner? <laughs> have we talked about John Claude Van Damme doing like forty thousand yeah, dollars worth of Coke? I think that was yeah. on the last episode. Yeah, that was on the last. All right, we cool. talked about Street Fighter. Yeah, we're gonna have to have we're gonna have to cover all the Coke corner. <laughs> we have to like do we have to do like a we list. Have to do a new one each. Yeah, time we have to do a, it, a new one each time. We'll get we'll we'll check back in next time. Yeah, man, we'll, we'll have to come up with some more facts. I like, yeah. You know what's a good uh, gangster <laughs> movie you gotta watch? What's that? Um, you gotta watch. Um, uh, Prejudice me, with a gun. Me Coming to loca. The theater. Yeah, yeah, Prejudice with a gun. <laughs> That would be crazy. What would the guy do? Like, I feel like it's got to be like a white guy. Uh, of course. Yeah, off rip. It's a, it's a white like a white conservative guy. Um, Q guy. He's like, he's been living in. He goes in... to Starbucks and he fucking, he gets triggered. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> he gets triggered because they ask him to like respect someone's gendered pronouns and shit. <laughs> he, starts, he gets pissed he off because it's a multi-gender bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> So he has to take things there you into go. his he own hands. Take things in his own hands. Yo, there's a movie like that actually. Have you ever seen that movie Falling Down? No. <laughs> That's basically the premise. It's like no way. Yeah, Michael Douglas. He like he loses his job and he he snaps and he like the first thing he does the shit that sets him off. He goes into like a fucking liquor store and there's like a Korean guy and he's like mad because the Korean guy doesn't speak English right. Or uh huh. Of course. <laughs> and then like some gangbangers press him and he gets all fucking. He gets all mad and then like he, he like they crash and they die or some weird shit and he takes their gun and he just goes like on a and rampage. Like, he goes on a rampage just being disgusted by like gays and like <laughs> having having shootouts with prejudice like prejudice with fucking, a gun. Yeah, it's basically it, dude. Falling down is prejudice with a gun. <laughs> we're, we're, it, it's funny because they frame it like you're supposed to have sympathy for like some fucking like some shit bag, <laughs> some shit like bag fucking guy because he loves intolerant you that asshole. Shit? You've seen uh, falling down before. Yes, I've seen falling down. <laughs> no, I gotta, I'm gonna have to watch it. You, gotta, we should watch it after this shit. I'm done. 
Uh, <laughs> I can't get over the fact that the character's name is Guido. <laughs> <laughs> they really be doing Italians however they yeah, want, dog. Doing it. Look they at him. They be doing them dirty. With that mustache. It'd bro. be like, this guy's name is Guido Wop. Look up the character Guido from this guy's Baywatch name is Guido. if you wonder what we're talking about. <laughs> Guinea Gabagool. Not the movie, Baywatch. Is Guinea like a really fucked up word? What's the most fucked up one? Wop, Guido, or, or Guinea? We need an Italian dude to call in. I'm not going to huh? say any of those. I can say him because I'm Hispanic. <laughs> uh, I'm a minority, and I have free reign for racial slurs. Why do Jews get all this? Because fools are jealous. Jews are not just religion. That's what I always wondered, too. Jew, Jew, no, it's because uh, being Jewish is also an ethnicity, and they have like a lineage and shit. But it's mm. weird because there's different kinds of Jews. There's like Ashkenazi, which are like European Jews, and then there's like fucking like Ethiopian Jews that literally were around before like Christ and shit. You heard about that shit? No. That's just crazy. Yeah, like like there's straight up like Ethiopian Jews from like way back and Ethiopian Christians too. Damn. Ethiopia is a trippy fucking Wait, place. Wait, so it's like pre-dates like the Bible and whatnot? Yeah. Or like all that like yeah. fucking, uh, what's it called? Like David and yeah, correct. whatever. I mean, fools can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure like... There's, there's been so there's, there's Christian religion in Africa that predates like fucking like the uh, Genesis and yeah. fucking uh, yeah, whatever David and uh, well a lot of the Bible the bro a lot of the Bible came about the dude way had to later. kill his son and then God just tricked him oh yeah fuck God just tricked him <laughs> God was like <laughs> Abraham God's like yeah Abraham he's like God was God just tricked his ass and was like God was just sent, didn't he like send a goat out and he, he was said, like it's a prank kidding, it's a boy. prank bro it's a prank. He was so, like, he said it's only a prank. God was the original Ashton Kutcher. He, he said it's punked, a prank, bro. Punked his ass. <laughs> the Bible's fucking dumb. <laughs> the Bible's fu- it's entertaining though. Like if you because I went to Catholic school, bro. Like I, I, like, did I had you to ever, read that shit. Yeah, I mean, I don't. The, all I know is I watched the Bible on Netflix, and that shit was hitting gas, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That shit was fucked no up. Yeah, they did him dirty as fuck. That's crazy. All racist. We used to stuff. watch, like, we, like my grandma Prejudice. used to make us watch <laughs> those Spanish ones where it would be, like, Jesus, and they have, like, the temptation of Jesus, and it's just, like, Mexican Jesus. That's fine. And then the devil just comes out, but he's just wearing, like, a suit. Like, the like Jesus is wearing, like, old, old fucking b- biblical clothes, and the devil comes out, and he's, like, in a suit. <laughs> That's and he's so got like weird. his hair's kind of you know the devil always has like that hair where it's kind of pointy and shit. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Dog, that shit. The, With the, like the little like yeah. thin ass sideburns. Mexicans go so <laughs> go so hard for Jesus, bro. When the you, devil has thin ass sideburns. He does. And, like a pencil mustache. Yeah, pen, pencil mustache. <laughs> and and he's God. all calm and co- collected and shit. And, and he like, has chill. like a soul patch as well. He seems like a chill guy, to be honest. He seems like a dude. He's just like very fucking chill. Like he's He's got it under control. He looks like a pickup. He, he what? He's a pickup artist. <laughs> he grew up in Vegas? Yeah, yeah. Or what? He's you a said he's a pickup artist and he <laughs> yeah. grew up in Vegas? <laughs> he, does, he does look like a pickup artist who grew up in Vegas. He looks like, what was that guy? Is it mystery? The, mystery. <laughs> the pickup artist? That's what Satan looks like. One time I was at Club <laughs> Moscow and that one dude that was on the pickup artist was there with two white girls. The, the <laughs> he Asian had two guy. Girls? Yeah, he had two uh, girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Asian guy. <laughs> so he was. Bro, uh, it was know. lit. He he walked. I, you he might have a, been there. I don't know if you were there. Master in the art. We were at Club pickup. Moscow full with, what was with, that guy's with name? Lindsay Lohan. Who? The Asian pickup artist guy. I don't know. He he was lit, bro. He had two tall ass white girls, and I went to shake his hand, and his hand was like mad sweaty. It was weird, bro. It was mad sweaty. Why'd you shake his hand because I was like, "Hey, <laughs> respectful, like boom, boom, boom." You respect shake his the hand. Pickup artist Res- community. Respect the game. I'm a pickup artist now. If I'm gonna become a pickup artist, I'm gonna become. I'm gonna wear a big ass. Those big ass, like, what do they the wear? Those furry, like Undertaker like, hats. No, nah, it's like the fucking what's it called? The Jamiroquai hat. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever you seen like the when that hat, dude man. got exposed, the pickup artist guy, and he got exposed like when his wife divorced him, and he was like posting all this like insanely depressing shit like on Live Journal Which or guy? MySpace. The main guy, the pickup artist guy, mystery, mystery, yeah. Oh my god, he he got roasted, bro. That's they were what? like, he's actually a lame fool. Like he's fucking no shit, bro. Yeah. That dude has no sort of swag. I bet, dude. He lives in Vegas. Imagine, so that's all I say. imagine being a woman and that guy approaching you in a club, 
And then don't they use like techniques to like fucking like, what's it called? Like negging where they like say some negative (laughs) shit. They're like, they're like, they're like, I like your dress, but like you shouldn't be so fat. Or like some well, how does like that, that work? So I'm like, it's Why like, would give that them work? like a compliment and then you backhand them at the end or something. Um, yeah, I don't know how it would work, but imagine that guy mystery coming up to you in the club. That shit, uh, it's only got to work on like, are you like really disenfranchised me? people. Uh, I am not. It's just a way to fucking scam incels, bro. At yeah. the end of the at day, at the end of the day, that's yeah. all it is. They're that trying to really sell work. fucking their little classes and their books and fucking yeah. you know we should it. scam incels <laughs> low-key oh she's gonna get what's your over. what would you do um well because i did you see this shit? oh my god bro <laughs> that hat bro. yeah the hat they, they got some new shit now did you see that shit it's called sigma males no where it's all that? like i've seen some video was like now i'm gonna tell you why sigma males are more attractive than alpha males and it's like i guess a sigma male is like <laughs> I, an outsider like a sigma wanderer dick. like you, <laughs> you just do say, sigma dick sigma dick <laughs> 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 no anyway so what is it <laughs> i gotta look it up sigma dick i'm a sigma male that's sigma, the new shit su- like a lone a lone wolf so basically like a guy that collects samurai swords and shit uh like a uh, master of the blade. Master of the blade. Yeah, <laughs> I study the blade. Real ten, men. Ten signs. You're a real sigma men male. study the blade. Alpha. <laughs> uh, it's not. It's like a alpha. Alpha versus sigma. Beta. Beta's a beta's the one you don't want to be. <laughs> what if I do? <laughs> you probably already oh, are a beta. Fuck off, dog. <laughs> fuck off. You're the beta of this pod. Oh, check it out. <laughs> oh, I'm the alpha. Hold on. I'm a I'm a big dick alpha. Sigma males are more attractive than alpha males. Stay tuned. Sigma dick. <laughs> Sigma dick. Yo. All right, I'm fucking tuned in on that one. I can't wait to find out. Yeah, you got to find out why alpha males or sigma males. And then it says, get ready for your daily red pill. <laughs> get ready, fool. My daily. Get ready, fool. Uh, I forgot to take mine this morning, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh shit! Well, I guess for that a sigma male, we, a sigma male is like Neo <laughs> from the Matrix. Badass. He studies the blade. It would be sick if we went to like Rosarito and we did like a like a podcast or stream in Rosarito and then just got drunk for like twenty four hours. It doesn't really have to be in Rosarito, but you it would can't. be cool. <laughs> You're gonna end up getting your ass ate on the top of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> like those videos. Those fucking videos are so wild. Could you imagine Rosarito. if you like your girl was like, "I'm just going out with with the girls this weekend," and then you and like you we saw her. her on Twitter getting your ass ate on like the bar. Rosarito. Or actually, the adverse too. Imagine your boyfriend's like, uh, "Me and me and the guys were going to San and Diego," he's getting his ass and he's ate. getting his ass ate, or he's like boning some random chick like on the platform <laughs> <laughs> on on Dude, the beach. That's like gonna be the crazy thing about the future because it's like fucking like fools are gonna look back and be like, be like these grandparents guys are wild <laughs> it's gonna be like a grand when i was your age like and then they're gonna have videos of them getting their ass ate in rosarito yeah dude <laughs> just getting fucked the wildest shit the wildest shit about that is that fools went to rosarito the weekend before covid covid closures isn't that the most many shit ever I was literally so there was fools straight up like eating ass, uh, and that was, fools were eating ass on the bar in Rosarito, and and just having unprotected sex during coronavirus in Mexico. That is the craziest fucking thing to me, dog. Yeah, I mean people are probably still doing that right now. That oh yeah, for sure, like. for sure, dog. That shit's crazy. If you if you're in fucking Rosarito getting your ass ate, shame on you. How do you how do you think the <laughs> the virus has affected the pickup artist community? I, f- I feel like they've been decimated. <laughs> been decimated <bro. laughs> oh man, fuck, dude. This this podcast started out slow, but we got funny as yeah, time got, yeah. We just had to <laughs> ease into it, bro. We, I'm gonna really. It was a beer. I want to thank the beer. Beer makes me silly. It does. Um, <laughs> we didn't even watch the Super Bowl. I wonder. If it- We've been watching Bay- uh, Baywatch this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> <Are> we- <laughs> like some real men not watching this fucking weak, fake sport called football, American football. What's the score, dude? I'm just going to go ahead and predict that the Buccaneers are going to win. That's what I said. Let's see. Mm-hmm. 
It really is. I'm a Sigma male. Whoa. Saving my dick. The Chiefs are beating <laughs> the Bucks, fool. Are oh, they? No, they're losing. To, <laughs> never mind. They're losing. I was by like, a lot. Right. I was like immediately wrong. Uh, nine I like nine this to thirty-one. Full, sick ass fool. Yeah. I'm trying to get a uh, an eight ball tattoo. That's kind of <laughs> fucking sick. With the rose, you need an eight ball with like a snake around it. Oh shit! What is, and then someone be like, "What does that mean?" <laughs> it's <Word>. like, <laughs> <laughs> that never happened in the history of anything. What happened? Some girl could just be all horny for a guy that's good at Street Fighter. Oh, uh, that happens. No. I don't know. <laughs> Vince Vince told me that like fucking the fools in the New York Marvel Capcom community like were running trains on like girls and shit. <laughs> Some fucking insane. I've heard fact shit like, like that. that too, dude. Well, you know what they've. T- I've heard that nerds be fucking, bro. I had I had a coworker who used. I to- like <laughs> I like to think that they're like are even when they're fucking they're like nerdy about it. So yeah. they're like like come like they're getting like statistics and like. Uh, researching techniques and shit so they're really <laughs> so they're really fucking fire at it <laughs> my ex co-worker when i was at like game velocity times uh <laughs> jesus the Christ. girth of my cock <laughs> no nah, bro it's like this it's like this my 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 co-worker told me he used to bang girls off of fucking wow he said he used to meet girls off Remember wow and meet up to fuck where the kids playing were uh, they banging off wow No, but it's like the kid gets, the kid was talking to a grown lady on WoW. It wasn't WoW. It was basically (laughs) WoW, though. RuneScape? And and she was trying to bang him for some reason. That's crazy. It was like reverse molestation. My friend Tony, Tony Cruz, a big shout out. He went to Anime Expo one time and he said he went into like, like in the hotel rooms and shit. Or they were telling him there was like a a no pants party. (laughs) What the fuck? Yeah. A bottomless party? Yo, could you imagine the smell? Isn't that, that's in, could you, wait, could you imagine the smell? Isn't that in a movie, though? Yeah, it is like a movie. Like Harold and Kumar yeah, Harold or some Kumar. shit. But yo, uh, could you imagine the smell of like an anime expo, like sex party? They were wearing like fucking cosplay all day and shit. Stank ass, like straight up, just like stank ass in pits. Have you ever gone inside an anime expo? Uh, I went to, yeah. I went the aroma, the, brother. The I don't aroma. Really remember it smelling The aroma of just like cheeks. Feet and like old. Why is that? I don't know. Those fools just gonna be showering or something. Anime people smell. They stink. Is what you're saying? Yeah, they stink. Okay. I seen some shit. <laughs> I seen some shit on Twitter, and then it was some shit like uh, some anime dork was like, um, I wonder if like all the people that help set up the expos miss all the anime expos, and then some guy was like, as someone who cleans up after you guys, <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> He's like the custodian at the anime expo. <laughs> I miss, I kind of miss going to anime expo. It was fun, dog. I never actually like went inside, but I, or like I went inside, but you, you could like just walk into the convention center, you but can. you can only go a certain. Yeah. Well, you could do this thing where you just uh, don't, you, you could do this thing where you just don't pay and just walk in. Yeah, that's what I did. Like but you, I, you couldn't get into like the little, um. So many people are doing that shit that they changed it so that it was free because yeah, people just kept not paying. Because you, you just can't go into the um, like seminars and shit. The coolest shit is probably <laughs> yeah. The coolest shit is probably the the actual cosplaying because buying shit is like really. I thought that was yeah. would be the coolest. It's, too, part. it's overpriced. You I'm could trying you to could, see the dude from Studio Ghibli. Ghibli. <laughs> Studio Ghibli. Trying to see him talk. <laughs> <laughs> he's like the girth and the velocity of my penis. <laughs> <laughs> what was that shit? The Lin Manuel, Lin Manuel, Lin Manuel shit. He was like, oh, that fucking passively, b- 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 he, passively, passively. He did the Eminem shit. He was like, actually, mappily, bappily, cappily, bappily, and he was like in a fucking in a train by himself. <laughs> yeah, was I? In, <laughs> what's was what's his deal, bro? Lin Lin Manuel, what's your problem? What's your problem, cuz? Well, did I send that to you? Yeah. Or did that, I send that into no, our chat? Just Google fucking Lin Manuel. Lin Manuel rapping. What kind of rap was he listening to, fool? Because that shit sounded like no swag whatsoever. <laughs> he was not listening to Cameron at all. <laughs> he never. No, no dip set in his CD player. He never heard Cameron one day in his life. He never heard Cameron. He needs Cameron to listen one. to some NBA needed, young boy. He, he needed to listen to some fucking <laughs> get get the wave god in there, bro. Get get a little Max B in your rotation, fool. Like get a little touch of the wave in you, you feel me? A little breeze of wave, you feel me? Like get that little like sandy 
ocean breeze in you, you feel me? Because he had no swag, no flavor. He looked oh, like here it is. There you go. Every action's an act of creation. <laughs> <laughs> what a bitch. Yeah, like, like the most nerd fucking voice on earth. Nerds should not rap. Fuck, dude. Nerds. Fuck What nerds, about logic? Man. This is like an anti-nerd podcast. This is a bully podcast. This is a, bu- <laughs> this is a bully podcast. I just told Lin-Manuel to shut the fuck up. Well, imagine being in your that, 30s Aw. and just still bullying fucking nerds. Because that's what I do. <laughs> you just said it, all anime people smell like feet and ass cheeks. I've, wa- <laughs> I've walked into Anime Expo. I can attest. Fuck. I've walked in the jungle in Little Tokyo, dog. It's like straight booty cheeks in there, bro. Mm. And old magazine. Mm. It's like old magazine and cheeks. Yeah. And fucking pits. It's got like a cheesy aroma. <laughs> Every action is an act of creation, man. Every action is an <laughs> act of creation. I don't know about that, bro. There is a lot of white people in the crowd in this event. It's what are a they doing? Surfing contest. What do you? Oh yeah, that's just crazy. <laughs> you know, it's kind of crazy to me to go somewhere and there. I know this shit is old because you do not see this many white people in LA anymore. No, Kelly Slater. If you go to like a a like slam poetry reading, you'll see a lot of white people probably slam, slam poetry. poetry. Where do you go to like an acoustic? Where they do that at? It'll be in Echo Park. It'll be like a a fucking an acoustic guitar uh, like performance, and then it'll be like some guy reading his book, like the first page of his book or some shit, and it'll just Whoa. be like like our man said, people. every action is an act of creation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, passionately. No, <laughs> the, funny, the funniest aspect about about Lin Manuel is that he was getting bullied by Mortal Technique. Could and you he imagine admitted it? to it, and he admitted to it. Could you? And he he said it. <laughs> I'll in take interview. that shit to the grave. <laughs> Honestly, you'll never hear me admit that a fucking <laughs> that mortal, someone more famous than me used to bully me, or uh, that Mortal Technique used to bully me. I was going to say, I point, think Lin Manuel is probably more famous than him at this point. Yeah, and probably richer as well. I wonder what Immortal Technique's doing right now. <laughs> he's he's like uh he he's like doing that shit. He has like a picture of Lin Manuel. <laughs> he's like stabbing it. He's like stabbing it with a knife. <laughs> like a fucking butter, oh, butter knife. Dude? <laughs> he's like putting on lipstick and like kissing it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he like Buffalo Bill now? I don't know, dude. <laughs> First he was stabbing it, then he was like kissing it with makeup. <clears throat> Fuck, dude. <laughs> Who else do you feel like bullying? There's a lot of people on earth I feel like that could benefit from bullying. Hey, man, I was bullied. Everyone gets bullied at some I point. Bullied. I actually went to middle school with Logic, and he used to bully me. <laughs> <laughs> logic, bro. What's what's up? What's his logic's deal? He's I bi- he's I biracial. Feel, I feel bad for him, Loki. Kind of. Logic is biracial. He's the new Eminem. I just can't get behind like the rap where it's just like you're rapping just to rap. Good, you feel me? Bars. Every action is an act of creation, <laughs> dog. <laughs> That's true, man. We're Bars. Cre- Every action is an act of creation. <laughs> Holy shit. Prejudice. You're like in Venice right gun. here? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy that, that they don't that doesn't exist anymore having like a fucking arcade, arcade game yeah. in the liquor store. In yeah, the it's corner out. store. You can't even kick it in there no more. No, nah, you can't. They don't let you. I used to do that all the time. I used, I used to too. I used to loiter in the donut shop near my house because the donut shop had three three arcade machines. They always had like Street Fighter, a King Fighter, and then like that shitty soccer game mm-hmm. or, or the, baseball, and or then the like Neo Geo joint. Yeah, with that like, one. Uh, Metal Slug and Metal like Slug other, and like two puzzle, or three other games. Puzzle Bobble. That shit was hard, man. Fucking um, yeah, dude. There used to be this corner store. My dad had this crib in Orange, like Old Town Orange, kind of. And there was like a liquor store right there, and it had yeah, like machine. dude, it had a little arcade thing, and it had a video rental section. So you can rent movies and shit. And then they also, 
as an extension of the movie rental area, they had a porno rental section. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Imagine renting a porno and then like. Life was more sick before, bro, because you could go to a video store and they Life had a porno more, section. It was more sicker. It was more sicker, dog. Like, <laughs> I used to go rent movies all the fucking time. Pornos? Yeah. Just, you, would risk, you would risk getting mugged, and then you would get, like, that two-for-one pizza company where you get two pizzas for, like, the price of one. <laughs> <laughs> you would risk it all yeah pizza loca no nah, so much of like being a, uh, a pizza loca yeah pe- so much of being like a Is fucking that been kid. around for a long time yeah it's been around for I like never at least 30 years i haven't started seeing like, maybe pizza loca maybe longer until, like, a couple years ago i feel like everything you wanted to do was like running the risk of getting mugged or, or beat up or kidnapped <laughs> or harassed but we didn't care yeah nah man children I, these days man when you had children these days, one time I threw like like the ball over the fence behind my friend's apartment, uh-huh. and I jumped into the fucking backyard, and it was like a fucking crack house full, <laughs> and there was like mad trash in the backyard, and then like a fucking giant pit bull came running towards me, and I just froze. I was like, damn, this was about to fuck me up. And then some fool popped out of the fucking shit and like called the dog by its name, and it like stopped in its tracks, <laughs> and it ran back, and then I just like climbed the fence back over, and I was like, god damn, I was about to get fucking mauled by a pit bull, bro. But see, that's the kind of shit you just do. Yeah, I mean, every action is every an action is an act of creation, brother. It all comes back. It to all comes back one to that, brother. Simple phrase. Yeah. It all- <laughs> <laughs> Some fools tried to mug us one time when we were playing arcades, but they were trying to mug all the kids for quarters. They were like older kids. Yeah. And, but that's just the shit that would happen. And then like my cousin got all shook, which is funny because he's like in prison now. But like at the time, he was he was like younger than me, and like uh-huh. they. They pressed me and I was like, I ain't got no quarters, you feel me? And then my cousin was like, he was like, oh, and just like all, all fucking shook and like gave him a quarter. And I was like, you shouldn't, you should tell me you have a quarter. It wasn't like he was going to beat you up. Yeah, like search you for yeah, it. Yeah, search you for it. And I was like, well, if we find him, we find him. Yeah. Yeah, which is funny now because like now I'm the pussy and my cousin's the one that's He's in like fucking prison. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Probably. It's like, it's like what happened when. Uh, a mortal technique. Yeah, bullied Lin yeah, Manuel, like, and it caused him now. to create Hamilton. That's funny. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna ask him, when he gets out. I'm gonna ask him if he remembers that shit. If he tells me, yeah, then I'm gonna just be like, this is where it all went wrong, bro. Mm-hmm. I should have fought that kid trying to steal your quarter, bro. Mm-hmm. But see, shit like that used to happen. Borrowing something from somebody and never returning it. <laughs> <laughs> that shit still happens. That shit still happens. That shit that happened to me all the time. Dog, go kick it with some fools and just borrow a Sega Genesis game and just and like, you know you're it. never going back over there, dog. Like, oh, hell no. Hell no. Then they're, they got to come move with their mom the to your house and shit. <laughs> you, now yeah. you got to move out the neighborhood. Yeah. Fool stole my bike, bro. <laughs> Fool stole my bike just like that. Like the homie came to my house and I mean, really wasn't the homie if you think about what he did because he... <laughs> He took my bike and then he left with it and then he claimed that some fucking like older man stole the bike from him. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Probably stole that yeah, shit. Full. full grown man couldn't fit on that bike. But that's the kind of shit that was going on all the fucking time. Fist fighting, stealing things or getting stole. You were, you were either steal or get stole on, fool. It build, builds character. It builds character, fool. Like it really teaches you the chaos of, of real life. Mm-hmm. To, to be a kid back in the day was to be fucking really... Uh, a maniac in in terms of just like the amount of risk and danger that i put myself in to do stupid shit (laughs) yeah really like dumb shit you know what i mean shooting friends with fireworks taking (laughs) taking burning like (laughs) burning random shit (laughs) burn like shoes in the middle of the street (laughs) burning trash and shit (laughs) burning trash crazy shit Fuck it. This show is really about Baywatch and about people living in Las Vegas and how they look and act. Oh. <laughs> Everyone in Vegas has like that fucking like a hair metal kind of aesthetic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, essentially. They're all pickup artists. Pickup artists or um, illusionists. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they make their shillings. Maybe both. <laughs> they make their shillings by being illusionists <laughs> and, and pickup artists. <laughs> What a, like, what an uh, insane career trajectory. For real, huh? Like, yeah, start, it's like if you're born in Vegas, like it's kind of decided at birth whether yeah, you're, you're either, either an illusionist, illusionist or a pickup, pickup artist. artist. <laughs> <It's no. laughs> and you Those have are to, your career paths. You have to look like Ronnie Radke yeah. or whatever that guy's. That He's from Vegas, right? Or who was it? What's the band that was from Vegas? Was it Falling in Reverse or Pierce the Veil? I don't know. One all of those I, hair I metal bands. Isn't the Killers <laughs> from there? 
Yeah, yeah that makes sense. And like Panic at the Disco. The Killers is the Are Panic only... at the Disco's from Utah? Or are they from... Oh, they're from Vegas. The one dude's God, uh, damn, Mormon. A fucking crazy like mix of bands. There's a Mormons in Vegas. Yeah, There's a I'm lot of Mormons surprised. in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. That's such a weird place. They started Vegas. Really? Yeah, the Mormon. And then what the mobsters just kind of moved in. Yeah, what happened was like the the, mobsters started like the the casinos and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah like the Vegas as we know it. Yeah, the Vegas we know it uh, started because the mobsters came and they wanted. It a, used to be the old Vegas, so like not the actual strip as it is now. Nah, it was it old. Was like where, like the, where the Golden Nugget golden is at. Nugget, and shit. Yeah. yeah, that's like Circus. In, Circus is like the only old Vegas uh, thing. Circus, Circus is so sick. Fucking sick. And you know, in uh, fucking what's it called? Fear and Loathing. Fear and Loathing. When they go there, that yeah, shit's it's tight. Fucking what do they take? They take like fucking like some ether and like quaaludes yeah, or some yeah, crazy yeah. shit like that. Like they're just walking around all fucked up, like yeah. fucking fucked up off their ass off like shit they put you to sleep with. Hunter like, S. Thompson's like, a psychopath for real. The fact that then that's where they decided to go to. Like we're going to Circus Circus. <laughs> like, like yeah, dude, that's fucked up out of our mind on this shit. Circus, circus, circus. All right, thank all you guys right. for listening. Uh, we're off to Vegas to become pickup artists and illusionists. And uh, you listening to uh, Planet Dumb. Planet Dumb. You, uh, you could uh, get some bonus episodes if you go on Patreon.com. Yeah, sign up for the tiers. We have a bunch Planet of... Planet Dumb. We, we only have one tier right now, but... Oh, it's coming. We'll see what's up. But we'll yeah, figure f- some shit out for you. Support fucking, us on Patreon for, for bonus you fucking content. fucking sickos. And goodbye. Thank Good, you. Goodbye.